Now in this video, we'll talk about OSPO version 3 address family support. Now this is something newly introduced in the new iOS versions. So uh, it's something introduced in the 15.0 iOS versions a new, completely a new configuration. New configuration for both IP version 4 and IP version 6. So we'll try to see how we can configure OSPF v3 address family support in the new iOS versions. So let, let's get into some of the basics uh, before we get into the actual command line. Now OSPF v3, if, if you remember we have some OSPF v2 which is for IP version 4 and we have some OSPF v3 which was introduced for IP version 6 related configurations. But now the, there is something called OSPF v3 address family support where you can have both IPv4 and IPv6 configurations under the same process. Now we can we can configure only one process instead of doing a separate configuration. Like in the previous versions, we used to have router OSPF1, and then if you want to configure IPv6, we need to say IPv6 router OSPF1. So it's going to be a totally different process, but we can have the same process running for both IP version 4 and IP version 6. So address family uh, support. Uh, OSP of v V3 address family is a routing protocol for both IP version 4 and IP version 6. It, it has been released from iOS version 15.1 to 15.2. Now every address family will have a different adjacencies. Now it means you will have a separate adjacency for IP version 4 and IP version 6 and a separate link state database for both IP version 4 and IP version 6. And the shortest path calculation is also completely a separate for IP version 4 and IP version 6. Now let's take an example in case if you if you want to run IP version 4 on this interface and you want to run OSP v3 address family now it becomes mandatory for you to have IPv6 enabled on that particular interface now we, we don't need to have an IPv6 address that is not mandatory but IPv6 has to be enabled on that particular interface even if there is no IP address and and if you want to if you want this OSP of v3 address family support, you need to ensure that IPv6 unicast routing is also enabled if you want to get into this uh, router mode. So that's something we'll, we'll get into that more in detail when we start getting into the command line. So let's see the commands. Now OSP of v3 address family configuration, now the command line will be something like this. We need to say router OSP of v3 and then we have to define the process ID. Now when you define this command, if there is no IPv6 routing is enabled, like by default, mostly all the IOS do not have IPv6 routing enabled, it's going to give you some warning message. Now we need to ensure that we enable IPv6 unicast routing before we give this command. And after that, we, if you want, we can use question mark, like, let, let me just get into the command line here. I got a router one, so we can go to, this is the 15.iOS version which I'm using. We need to set out OSP of V3 and then process ID. I can see the message here. It says IPv6 routing has to be enabled. Let's enable IPv6 routing and then let me add this command. And now if you use question mark, you have, you have different options which you can configure for OSP of here. Now again, after that, there is address family. We can either use IPv4 and IPv6. Now, depending upon the options, let's say if you are going to configure anything here, let's say I'm going to configure the router ID as 1.1.1.1. If I don't get into the specific address family without going into the specific address family, if I give the command here, it's going to apply for both IP version 4 as well as for IP version 6. Now, if you want to make any changes to specific parameters where uh, you want to apply the same parameters for both like router ID, or maybe you are using some authentication, whatever, whatever the configurations you want uh, common, commonly to be applied for both IPv4 and IPv6, we can apply without getting into the address family. Now, if you want any specific configurations to be applied only for IPv4, we have to get into the address family IPv4 unicast, and then the commands comes here inside the router mode and under the address family. Now, same thing. Whatever the changes you want to apply for IP version 6, then we need to get into the address family IPv6. And then there are some uh, advertisements like we don't have any network commands here. Instead of network commands, we just need to go to the interface and we need to enable the protocol under the interface. 
if you want to enable IP version 4 we have to give this command OSP of v3 process ID and then IPv4 and the area number and if you want to enable IPv6 also in that case we just need to say OSP of v3 IPv6 area 0 now in my scenario I am going to enable on, on both the interfaces which are connecting in the LAN and in the WAN now verification commands are also slightly different here if you want to verify IPv4 routes we have to say show IP route OSP of v3 and then if you want to verify show IP OSP of interface brief here we have to say show OSP of v3 interface brief and then show IP show OSP of v3 neighbor because normally we, we are used to that show IP OSP of neighbor that command will not show you anything you have to say show OSP of v3 neighbor so when I use show IP OSP of neighbor it's going to show you the neighbors based on the old configurations now again show IP protocols show IP v6 protocols are same and then IPv6 route commands are almost similar so let's get into the command line now for verifying this lab what I'm doing is I got some two routers here the router 1 which is connected to router 2 and on both the routers I have a pre-configured IPv4 addresses as well as IPv6 addresses so I want to configure router 1 and router 2 based on the OSP of v3 address family support so I want to I want to go with a new configuration so let's get into the command line I'll start with router 1 on the router 1 first we need to ensure that we enable IPv6 unicast routing and then I need to say router OSP of v3 1 and then if you want to give router ID we can just go with the router ID here and if I give here it's going to apply for both and then let me do the advertisements now if you want to do any specific configurations relating to IPv4 unicast now we can change here now if you make any changes under the specific address family mode it's going to override the global configuration mode anyway more similar to interface specific configurations to global specific configuration now let's go to the command line now to advertise we just need to go to the interface s1 by 0 we need to say OSP of v3 and then we need to define the process ID and then I need to say whether we are using IPv4 or IPv6 and then area 0 and similar way uh, I'm supposed to do the same thing for IPv6 also so for IPv6 also and the same thing I got one LAN interface I'm going to advertise the IPv6 as well as IPv4 now it's not really mandatory that you must you must uh, use IPv4 6 here but if, if even though if there is no IPv6 running still you can run for IPv4 but ensure that on that interface you must have an IPv6 address configured or at least IPv6 has to be enabled now in my scenario I got all the IP addresses and IPv6 addresses are pre-configured here as per the diagram now let's go to router 2 on the router 2 also I'm going to do the same thing let's enable IPv6 unicast routing and then I'm going to say OSP of v3 1 and then router ID I'm going to say 22.2.2.2 and then on the router and then I need to get into the interface now in my scenario the interface is interface s1 by 0 and then I need to say OSP of v3 1 IPv4 area 0 and then also I need to say IPv6 area 0 you can see the neighborship is up now similar way on the f0 by 0 interface enabling ipv6 as well as ipv4 now if you just verify the configuration commands what we used uh, we just went to the interface and enable these two commands so now for verification we can use so if i give show ip OSPF neighbor you don't see anything here because this is something relating to the old configuration so if you want to verify we need to say show ip OSPF v3 neighbors it's going to show you a separate address family for IPv4 and you can see these are neighborship for for IPv4 address family and this is for IPv6 address family and we can see the router ID has been applied for both address family IPv4 and IP version 6 now similar way if you want to verify the routes we need to say show IP route OSP of v3 so you can see the route on the router 2 I'm able to see the uh, router 1 LAN interface now similar way if you want to verify IPv6 route show IPv6 route OSPF 
now I can see I'm able to see the router one LAN interface and then you can you can ping if you try to ping let me try to ping FC 0 0 colon 1 1 colon colon 1 the LAN interface of the router 1 I can ping from the router 2 to the LAN router 1 LAN interface now there are some other commands you can use show OSPF v3 interface brief uh, you can see here on these two interfaces we have IPv4 enabled again it is also showing you the IPv6 configurations now this way we can verify the OSPF v3 address family configurations and if you want to make any changes like if you want to make any advanced configurations we need to simply go to the router OSPF1 and then we need to say address family IPv4 unicast if you want to specifically apply anything for IPv4 unicast and you can use question mark here like you can change the cost you can advertise the default routes and you can change the administrative distance apply some distribution list passive interface commands uh, router ID redistribution summarization all these things even if you want to make any changes to the timers you can see here so all these options you'll find here and if you want to apply anything now if you want to make let's take an example I'm going to take an example here uh, this is my 15.ibase version which is running and this is also 15.ibase version now on both the routers I'm using 15.ibase version so it's working fine for me but now let's say in case if you're running 12.4 ibase versions is it backward compatible so normally uh, if you're running IP version for like if you're running 12.4 iOS versions uh, we, ca we cannot run this new OSP v3 configurations in this iOS versions so probably we need to run the old configurations here so which means I can run OSP of v3 and here I can run the new OSP of v3 address family configurations now in this kind of scenarios it will only work for IP version 6 but it is not going to work for IP version 4 because in the IP version 4 it is going to carry the address family bit and as this router is running uh, running the old configuration it is not going to understand that address family bits so that's one thing you can try it out like like let's let's go with a simple configuration I'll go to router 4 I'm going to assume here that router 4 is running some older iOS version and then I'll go with the configuration somewhat older older iOS versions how we configure we generally say router OSP of 1 and then we need to say router ID 4.4.4.4 and then we need to say network command 40 dot network in the LAN and then advertising the 4 dot network which is on the WAN interface so I'm advertising the interface which is on the van here that is 4 door network and 40 door network here and then I'll also configure the IPv6 IPv6 unicast routing and then I'm going to say IPv6 router OSP of 1 and then I'm going to say the router ID is 4.4.4.4 and then advertising the LAN interface IPv6 OSP of 1 area 0 and interface S1 by 1 IPv6 OSP of 1 area 0 so I just configured the IPv6 and IPv4 OSP on the router 4 using the old configurations. Let's go to router 1 and the router 1 is running a 15.5 iOS version. So I'm going to router OSP of V3 1 and then I'm going to advertise that particular interface. So I just need to advertise this interface because all the remaining interface are already advertised. So let's go and advertise this interface on the interface s1 by 0 that's my interface s1 by 1 we need to say OSP of v3 1 IPv4 area 0 I can see there's no neighborship messages here but if I say IPv6 you will see some neighborship messages that's what I'm expecting here you can see for IPv6 now if you verify show OSP of v3 neighbors now I can see that our OSP of v3 neighborship has been established between between the router 4 and the router 1 but only for IP version 6 but there's no neighborship for IP version 4 so even if you verify the normal show IP OSP of neighbor anyway it doesn't work here because we are not using the old configurations here so that's a one one major difference here if you're running any older iOS versions probably you can only run IPv6 between them 
So that's something what you will find a small task in the workbook here. If you just come down, I got some notes here as well. Cisco IOS that runs older than the $15 releases or the third party devices will not form the neighborship with the devices running with uh, running the address family feature for IP version 4 because they do not send the they do not set the address family bit. So that's the main reason here. Now, let me just quickly summarize uh, what we have seen here. We have seen some of the new configuration which was introduced in the 15.0 iOS releases. Now, it, it supports something called OSPF v3 with address family support, where we can have one uh, OSPF process configuration for both IP version 4 and IP version 6. And we can separate the configurations by using some address family IP v4 and IP v6 commands. Now, if you are if you are go going to configure anything on with without getting into address family, it's going to globally apply for both IPv4 and IP version 6. And if you want to make any changes to specific IPv4 related configurations, we need to get into the address family IPv4 unicast, and then we have to apply the commands like router ID. It can be any other commands.